research originates from human curiosity, or sometimes, human fails to seek something. It should be systematic, innovative, understandable, facilitating, and reconstructive process. Research is a systematic method for the accomplishment of particular goals for the exploration of new findings and advancement of human understanding. To define the different types of research, different forms and different types are considered. Hello my dear students! Good day, good afternoon! Kumusta kayo? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tin, your research teacher for today. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Research 7. lesson, we're going to discuss about the different two main types or main classes of research and we're going to discuss the different categories of research. The robotics and intelligent machine, life science, applied sciences, and of course the innovation. Science in the general sense refers to the information that humans have obtained through experimentation or information and study is the process of obtaining these experiences and observations. Research originates from human curiosity or sometimes the need humans feel to seek something. It should be a systematic, understandable, facilitating, innovative, and reconstructive process. Number one is basic research. This is also called as fundamental research or pure research. It seeks to discover basic truths or principles. Here are some examples of basic research. We have Boyle's Law, Charles' Law, Archimedes' Principle, Hooke's Law Newton's Laws of Motion The Big Bang Theory and Evolution of Man According to Traverse, basic research is designed to add an organized body of scientific knowledge and does not necessarily produce Results of immediate practical value. Now, let us have number two, applied research. Applied research, it answers specific questions aimed at solving practices problems. It is used to find solutions to everyday problems, cure illness, and develop innovative technologies rather than to acquire knowledge for knowledge's sake. Now, let us talk about the different examples of applied research. Number one, we have to improve agricultural crop production. One of the common examples of applied research are the science investigatory projects that you can see in these pictures. In doing science investigatory projects, you're going to create something out of something that will solve and be a solution of a certain problem. And these are examples of science investigatory projects of students from Quezon National High School and Quezon Science High School. And another one we have find cure and vaccine for COVID-19 that is also a product of research. 
And applied research remember that this type of research involves seeking new applications of scientific knowledge to the solution of a problem such as a development of a new system or procedure, new device, or new method in order to solve the problem. Kapag gumagawa tayo ng science investigatory project, syempre we are referring to the experimental research. Okay, and in experimental research, we have four categories. There are four research categories, and they are life science, we also have applied science, robotics, and innovation. So, ano bang pagkakaiba ng apat na to? Okay, first, pag-usapan natin, what is life science? So, pag sinabi natin life science, it is a research area where they focus on science fields that include the scientific study of living organisms, such as plants, can be animals, and humans. However, the study of organism behavior is included only if it has a distinctly uh, biological dimensions of it. So, kalimitan ang mga research study under ng life sciences is yung mga related sa, for example, agriculture, uh, fisheries, food and biology, or it can also be biochemistry and biotechnology, pwede rin ecology, evolution, and environment. It can also be genetics and heredity, at marami pang iba. Example, Antibacterial activity of Catmon, Dilenia filipinensis rolfe, against Streptococcus pyogenes. Another example, hypoglycemic effect of Serpentina Andrographis paniculata leaves as a supplemental tea for type 2 diabetes. Number 2, we have applied science. When we say applied science, this is the study of applications of scientific knowledge for technological advancement. Ibig sabihin, okay, yung mga nalalaman natin tungkol sa science, yung mga science concepts, pwede natin siyang gamitin para makapaggawa tayo ng isang product or project na may kinalaman sa advancement ng technology. Okay, example. Example, kamantige extract as fluorescent tracer. Another example, rambutan peel dye as sensitized solar cell. Another example, the use of algal polysaccharides alginates as biosorbent from aragon seaweeds in the reduction of heavy metal ions in fish ponds. Number three, we also have robotics. Okay, ano yung robotics? So, from the word itself, robot, so gumagamit tayo dito ng mga mechanical robots. When we say robotics, this is the interdisciplinary science and engineering field dedicated to building, designing, and using mechanical robots. For example, Example, fighter, fire extinguishing intelligent, governing, heat sensing, two-way mode, evading obstacle robot. And another one, abatach garbin, Arduino-based automated touchless garbage bin. Ayan, yan yung mga example ng mga uh, science investigatory project that is under the robotics category. Okay, next. Nakakita na ba kayo ng mga drone? O kaya yung mga bracelet na sinusuot and then pwede nang mag-text o kaya na i connect siya sa cellphone? Those are examples of research under the fourth category which is innovation. Okay, what do you mean by innovation? Pag sinabi natin innovation, this is a category of a research problem which is more concerned with an inventive new product or service than with an incremental one. What does it mean? It means expanding a line or upgrading an existing one. Ibig sabihin, meron na talaga ng bagay na yun pero ang nangyari, nagkaroon lang ng pag-upgrade mas lalong pinaganda. This is replacing something that already exists with something entirely new. Example, unmanned aircraft or UAVs, also known as drones, that are becoming popular not only as toys but also for commercial purposes. Another one is a piece of wearable technology created by Crochet, a French company. This bracelet projects the image one would usually communicate on the user's arm with on a laptop or smartphone. Let us have a short quiz. So I want you to get a scratch paper and then you're going to categorize what category of research are the following titles. So I'm going to show you 10 examples of science investigatory project titles and then yeah, you categorize to what category do these 
titles belong. Number one, effects of thyroid removal and stimulant upon the reflex speed of albino rats. Number two, development of efficient vision processing algorithm using color border recognition. Number three, growing algae in various bands of the visible light spectrum. Number four, the effect of thyroid suspension on growth and regeneration of planaria. Number five, biodegradability of sodium alkane sulfonate based detergents. Number six, an intelligent security system for high terrorism risk cities, real time prediction, weapon detection, and instant solution ISTC. Number seven, fast technology of automatic markup and teaching a robot to recognize objects. Number 8. Two-part study of novel ways to alleviate droughts using cloud seeding methods with bacterial ice nucleators. Number 9. A comparison of biofilm forming potential of native microbiota of various leafy greens on different food contact surfaces. Number 10, the effect of antifugial plant derivatives on the growth of Candida albicans. And these are the answers for questions number 1 to 10. Check your answer. This is the end of our lesson vlog about this topic. I hope you learned something from this vlog. This is me again, Teacher Tin, your research teacher for today. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Research 1. Goodbye and thank you. See you on my next vlog and congratulations in advance. Konti na lang matatapos na ang fourth quarter. Bye! Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe, pindutin mo na yan. Thanks! Napindot mo na? Yan, very good!